April 1st today, Wednesday, April 1st. I thought I would tell you about this uh, this thing I've got here. I'll close it again so you can see. Um, I can't remember if it was on Instagram or Facebook or somewhere. Someone was uh, who makes this company that makes uh, they make uh, one piece underwear. They make underwear. They were asking for tra for testers to test out a new piece of underwear that they had. And so I thought, oh, I'll fill that in. I'll put how old I am on and everything. And I thought I might end up with a one-piece suit to keep for myself. Anyway, I received the package. And what they said was that they would send the package. They would send it, uh, send your testing kit. And uh, you had to basically wear it for 24 hours. And then you had to fill in details to say what you thought about it. Well, the parcel arrived in a beautiful envelope. I don't think I, ought, I, I may have it on video, I'm not sure. I've just received a package from Colab by Heist. And I've opened it up, but I haven't actually gone into the content. So let me show you what it is. When I took it out the envelope, it was in a pouch like this. And the company is called Colab. Colab, and at the end it says Heist. And they've done it so that the letters are cut off. So there's a beautiful little pouch, really nice, with a zip on the top. So I unzipped it and I was thinking, golly, that's quite small to be a body for you know for to be a body stocking. So then inside here it was uh, was the the item was wrapped up in tissue and inside was this and I pulled that out and it's a little notebook. Collab by Heist. And the little notebook just basically said Dear Hello Creator, this is the um, this is it, the brainchild of our product of our product innovation team and your very first glimpse into the future of underwear. And it goes on to say we can't wait for you to test the product, jot down your thoughts, remember to tell us everything. We need your voice to create the best underwear. So I'm thinking, oh this is so then I opened the bag up and inside was this thing wrapped up in tissue. And um, I pulled it out, and this is what came out. Now, I don't know about you, <laughs> but that is the last kind of pair of briefs I would wear. I like big nicks, you know, you've got to get a pair that covers your belly and everything. So this was... Um, Quite a bit of a shock when it came when I pulled it out the out the package. Um, nice. So I did try them on. I did try them on, and within seconds this started rolling down the front of my belly because obviously I I've got a problem in belly, so I ended up with a roll there, and um, didn't feel at all comfortable with them. So anyway, I wore them for the whole day, and uh, in the end I had to give them feedback, and they said, "What do you think?" And I said, "Well, it rolled straight down the front." That was the first thing it did it rolled down and um but the fabric i mean i, I like the idea it's very nice it's a see-through fabric on the top that top panel and then it's got the the gusset in is in the same fat no it's not it's a, it's like in more of a knit fabric and then it's got the cotton gusset on the inside but <laughs> would i buy a pair like that no way <laughs> they've got to be they've got to be your um what do you call it? Oh God, what's her name from the film? Who had the big nicks? She wore big nicks. They are not mine. But nevertheless, I did give them feedback on it. I just said the size that I was, there would be no way I would wear those. And they really need to have a bit more of a firmer support on the front. So I've now got a little pouch and I've got a little notebook if I wanted to use it. A very, very nice presentation, I have to say. The quality of the knickers are very good. They're very nicely made. Um, as you can see, zigzags around the gusset. I don't know if you can see that, but there are zigzags around the gusset. Um, the back, yeah, there's a seam down the back. The back has a seam and it's basically a double fabric. So you get that kind of um, lizardy effect when you're looking through it there. I don't know if you can see that but if I do it like that you might actually see a lizardy effect there um but I thought that was quite funny when they came because I once did that before where I was asked if I would I can't remember what it was, it was on Instagram 
and they asked if we wanted to if we wanted to put our name down for to get a free recycling bin so i put my name down and i won i won one so I got a free recycling bin that was worth £100, so I, I wasn't complaining. So anyway, this one here, a nice bag, nice notebook, but definitely no no pants. <laughs> today I've been, today I've been, um, had a few jobs to do on the machines, and I'll show you a little video of me working on the machines. I had a few customers, I've still got a few people buying on eBay, so I had to get their plates done and get them sent. One of them is a lady who, uh, she does goose she does gooseberry plants and she's always always cultivating new gooseberry plants and so she has new names for them and then another one is a gentleman who does must do photographs for soldiers or something and uh, for military and so I do little plates that go on the bottom of pictures or whatever it is that he, he does I'm not sure what he does I do have quite a few customers like that who who come to me for sat for pictures to go on to their football strips to go on to their military pictures onto their uh, if someone's died and someone's got a photo for a, a picture framed then I do that sort of thing for them and lately little uh, plates to go on dogs caskets and pet caskets so um, there's quite a demand for the kind of things that I do sadly I did get a request to do a hundred plates for a funeral director who lives down south of London so I'm to be fair, he did come to me in, in 2015 for 100, so I'm hoping that the quantity that he wants is going to last them the same length of time and that there's not going to be an increase in bodies that he's got to put up with. Um, that there's not going to be an increase in, uh, in turnover, let's say. Um, I was telling you about this, that I, I didn't like this bag. A few people said they did like it, they liked what I'd done, but don't they said don't stop so I'm go, I've, I've redone it only instead I'm going to keep the surface the bottom bit a different a plain color all the way and the sides that I'm going to cut up I'm going to do the patchwork effect like that like I showed you there I'm going to do that sort of effect so that when I come to putting it together there'll be more of a contrast and I found the pattern I found the vid video and I found the pattern In Spanish, that means cut, I think. I may be wrong, but that's what she's called it, cortar. Um, the video I put up the other day about the masks, I got a lot of feedback from you. Uh, uh, some really extended emails from you, and uh, they were basically saying, quite a few of you were saying, that the, uh, the masks are useful for people to wear and uh, it shouldn't put people off but you know they 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 keep hold back some germs they're not good for hospitals but they hold back some germs other people were pointing out and this is something my sister let inform me as well from from france is that you have to have a non-woven fabric in between the layers and the non-woven fabric can be some something like you know the the bin the hoover bag that you've got that's got that's really well it's well constructed so that no dust can get through so that when you're hoovering stuff the hoover picks up the dust but it doesn't go flying into the into the motor well that is kind of a non-woven fabric and so you could even cut up a hoover bag a clean one of course and use that to put in between your fabrics on the mask or you could uh, use another lady said she used a coffee filter paper to do to, to do the same thing but the way that you would have to have some opening in the back to keep changing it now there is a pattern that i have used it's a, it's an american company it's an american company and they make baseball hats and um, masks and stuff it's a really good they do have a good website and i'll put the link up there because they have it so there's an opening behind it so you can slip that filter in and um, the it's called a flu mask pattern that they've made and um, I can't remember what they're called but I basically laminated the parts there's that that and I've lost the other one somewhere in here when I was tidying up and basically um, you've got the flu mask that bit 
you have a little seam and that goes that part there and then you have ah the other piece is a little a tiny little piece that goes under there to form a chin cover there so you've got this here that there with a the little dart there and then a chin cover that comes here that makes it be wrapped right round and they have this is the back bit and the back bit has um so that this is the back part and the back part no this is the front part and then you have your hemline there then the back part goes like that and that basically forms a little thick thing that you can slip the stuff through um i may make another one just to show you what i mean I got two um, two lovely long emails. One from a lady called Brandy, who I said long time no here because I hadn't. She'd written to me a few ooh, about a year ago and was telling me all about how about her life and everything. And then she never came back for a while. And then she wrote to me the other day last night. I got a lovely long email from Brandy, and she's been having a bit of a tough time, health wise, and um, I you know and. Basically, I'm going to write back to you, Brandy. I'll, I shall get write you a nice email back. And the other one was from Shari, who got me those nice earrings and the brooch. And Shari's um, finding, she, she's on her own at the moment, up in Nova Scotia. And she's finding it a bit uh, solitary. So I, And she was basically telling me how she finds it a bit hard and how she was surprised that nobody had been in touch with me. She thought I'd be an indator with people saying they were, they, were, they, didn't, you know, they were on their own. And she just thought she'd write an email to tell me just how she's feeling at the moment. And it is, it's a really tough time for you all. You know, for if you're on your own, it's tough. And uh, you've, you know, you're sitting looking at four walls. What I do know is there's quite a few people, I don't know if it's happening in America, but there are they, there are a lot of people FaceTiming each other and it's they have um they have quizzes and things where you can get on this quiz thing. I, a lot of people are doing it. I have to see if I can find if you know anything about something like that, that people can come and join. It's basically FaceTiming. And when you FaceTime you can bring lots of people in that can all have pictures on them. They all come on and um and basically the people are having quizzes or they're talking across to each other or something or the main quiz master is giving them the questions and they are writing them down and answering them themselves uh, i haven't actually seen that happen but i have heard that it's supposed to work well um there you go now then um i'm finishing off i think I, by the time i've done this video i will have uplisted the second part of the patterns a lot of you have said made comments about how nice the patterns are there are some lovely ones and there's some even better ones that were in the second half um so i'm going to get on and carry on with this this quarter pattern i'll put the link up there for you and um i will um i've got a couple of other things that i've made that i want to show you but i won't show you them till later on this week or maybe it's next week so in the meantime i'll love you and leave you and catch you next time bye <music>